hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing our laravel 9 e-commerce series so now guys in this video we are going to do the brands modification okay so on this brands we are going to modify few things like category id so when we add a brand list over here like brand name and brand slug okay so now guys i want this brand to be linked with the categories table so guys now let's create an option to select a category in this brand list so guys now let's get back to the code and let me close everything yep so first step guys let's move to routes web.php on the url called brands admin forward slash brands so we have the brands over here let's directly move to the live wire index okay let's go to app http live wire admin and you have a brand with the index.php file okay so inside this index.php at the render function we are going to view the blade so this is our blade guys where all this brand list has been shown and this model also has been added so yep so this is a table view and the model is over here so we want to add that option so let's go to that model file where while add brand i want an option let's add that margin bottom three and the label so here you'll tell select category okay and we require one option here you set up the class form hyphen control and you give the option which will be looped all set so select category hyphen hyphen and here you are going to loop and show the data so now let's uh, let me add a required over here and if you want to do the validation also you can add the validation code like this will be your category underscore id okay and this same name we are going to print in the input type name so we are using a live wire right so what we can do we can just add this in model so now guys let's get the data let's get one step back and one more step let's move behind and here i want all the categories categories is equal to your category model array colon colon where get method and here you have to check with the status so status of zero all done now you take this and send in the variable use comma single quotes your categories of dollar category all set guys so you have sent the variable now with the data and you get this in the blade let's move to the form use a for for each loop so for each and you paste your categories so cat item and now you take that open and close curly brace paste category name for storing it we will store the category id okay and let's move this inside the for each loop so now guys let's save and now let's check the output refresh okay so category model not found let's get back to the index.php of brand and you need to import this class so import class class is imported and now guys let's get back refresh and let's see whether that category option has come or not perfect it loaded and let's add here and you can see all the category listed done guys so now let's uh, while editing also you require the same 
category list okay so we don't have in the update category part so that also we will copy and paste let's get back to the form model and the same code we are going to copy and get back below so here is the code for this is the update okay update brand and let's paste it all set so same thing we are going to do and now guys let's take this the wire colon model data that is your input and check in the live wire component so go at the top of your component and just add over here dollar category id and this category id while saving it when you're storing the brand right like you have created this name slug and with this only we will store the category name too okay so let's store that category id of your dollar this of category id okay so now guys same condition you need to copy this and paste while you're updating okay so here we paste for update okay so while updating also we are updating the id category id and now let's check in the edit brand you have given that right so here we have to do the same thing like copy this category id paste and paste while editing also and while deleting we don't require anything like that done and now let's check once again at the top okay so in reset input we have to clear the category id2 all set and here in the validation rules also we need to add so you can copy paste and check the category id here and it's not a string it's an integer okay done and now guys we need to create a column in our brands table so let's open our terminal and just add one migration so php artisan make colon migration add category id to brands table okay so this is one add is your code and two brands brands is a table name and normal table okay so now hit enter created migration let's go and move to database migration and at the last you'll find one migration file where it has brand stable okay so let me show my brand stable which we already have so you can find this brand stable we already have inside this brand table i'm going to add one field that is category id all set so let's get back and yep guys let's so dollar table of integer where we will tell this is the category id and now guys same condition in your drop function and instead of giving integer just tell drop column delete the column while deleting a brand stable that's it guys so now let's migrate this just add php artisan migrate hit enter so it's migrated guys and now you can check the table let me refresh here browse and you will see category id found okay so now guys for right now i'm going to just add all one all the category to be one manually all set now you can refresh so now guys let's edit and update the category so first so by default it selected uh, let us select with men and let's update here so i have updated to men so there should be some changes in your category id let's browse this okay that category id has not been changed why because let us check the code okay so terminal let me close this database and here you see that we are directly using 
create or update method right so for that case guys we have to go to your brand model so let me move to that brand.php model model and here you need to add that so let's tell category underscore id save it and now let's try to update once again so i'm going to update with man update so let us refresh perfect so guys we can see that vivo has the id number five okay so it belongs to that id five category okay so you can just now once again edit here by default it should be selected man cool so let's update to mobile update it done and now this lenovo is belongs to laptop category laptop update all set Levis comes under your men's category let's move to men update it and now guys let's display the category also in this table list okay so let's get back and move to your main page that is your index blade at table view so here after the name i want to show the category on what category it belongs and here let us tell this brand belongs to that category so you need to create a category relationship over here belongs to and that category name okay so let me just give a validation also over here i mean validate like in a if condition use the if condition if your brand has any category then show else tell no brand i mean no category no category that's it so now guys uh you need to go to your brand model and create a relationship of category so first step let me control e brand dot php model and yep let's create one function function and this function name is going to be category and remove the type just return dollar this belongs to function this brand belongs to category colon colon class category class and this category id let's copy this category id paste here and the normal id so what normal id the categories table primary key id okay and this is your foreign key all set guys now you can save this and let's get back to the category and you can show the output let's get back refresh cool so you see that this vivo belongs to mobile category levis is men's so guys uh, this was a small modification in our brands list okay and why we made this modification for the filter purpose in front end like when you view the product of your specific category like we have a men category so i want to filter all the brands of only men's so for that sake we have modified the brand list okay so guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share